got Vampy, this one's for you. Um, we're going to go over how to properly set up a moderator over any forum and its child forums. So real quick, I'm just going to go into the admin area. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple of things first. I'm going to go to users, um, user groups, and moderating. Just to go over this real quick, what this particular section is, is it's your general permissions and styling. Um, so if I wanted to give moderators a certain color, username, um, and so forth, or give them a banner, whatever, we can do it from this page. and anybody in the moderating user secondary user group will have this styling features and this basic set of permissions um, so for instance I do want to allow moderators to use the invite system um, I've not really got that set up over here yet still working on it um, they're allowed to use a profile cover and this is general for all moderators uh, so let's just take a look at a couple of settings real quick and it'll make sense here in a moment um, let's see here okay delete post myself no they can as a general rule of thumb moderators cannot delete their own post um, still not what I'm looking for edit thread title by self delete thread by self no alright here we go um, delete thread by anyone no they're not allowed to do it hard delete thread by anyone no they're not allowed to do it um, now the difference between the two when they delete something it removes it from public view but administrators etc and staff can still see those deleted threads. A hard delete actually removes it for the database. Um, the way I'm setting it up is only administrators can do a hard delete. Okay, not moderators, not super moderators, etc. That way if we get somebody go, going rogue and just decides, hey, I'm going to go through here deleting everything, well, sorry, not going to happen. Okay, because as administrators, anything that's soft deleted, we can put back. Okay, so now let's go on to setting him up. So basically the user group permissions is just that. It's a default set of permissions. Uh, just a little bit more than your average user. Okay, so I'm going to go back to users. And over here on the left, I'm going to click moderators. And I would want to, if he's not already in here, I would want to create new moderator okay when I create a new moderator it's going to allow me to give them permissions for anything they're assigned to as well as uh, allow me to put them in a forum etc so you can do this with any member you don't have to really set them up first you can do it all in one swoop right here but I have already set Fallen Angel up as a moderator and I just assigned him to general discussion you know just to get him in, get him in the user group and so forth so where I want to go now is to applications and I want to display the node tree remember forums are called nodes alright so display the node tree and where did you want to bear with me for just a moment here Okay, you wanted to put him over ABC. All right, so I'm going. I'm dis displayed node tree, and I'm just going to scroll down to ABC. Okay, I don't need need to worry about this, the single episodes, the complete seasons, or the discontinued, because when you assign a moderator to a forum, they also gain those permissions for any children. So ABC is a parent forum and it has children of single, complete, and discontinued. NBC is a parent, 
and it has children of single episodes, complete seasons, and discontinued. Now, let's say you've got a moderator that w you wanted to put over all of the American networks. Then you could make them a moderator of American networks, and they've got those permissions because the children of those are ABC, NBC, and so forth. Uh, so in this case, we're going to be adding him to the ABC. So we're just going to move over here to the right to add moderator for the ABC forum. Moderator username is a uh, fallen angel. There he is. He popped up for us. And add moderator. And since we've already set him up, you know, he's kind of already got some permissions but now the forum moderator permissions. What do we want to allow them to do in their assigned forums? So we kind of want to give them a little bit more power in the forums that they're assigned to. Um, sure, they want to stick and unstick threads, lock and unlock threads. That's the same thing as close and unclose. Okay, manage threads by anyone so they can move them, merge them, so forth. Absolutely. Delete thread by anyone? Sure. Remember, that delete right there is a soft delete. It's not going to actually remove it from the database. It's only going to remove it from public view. Hard delete, absolutely not. Only administrators get this permission. I'm not saying that a circumstance won't come along where, all right, yeah, we really trust this person and they don't want to be nothing more than a moderator. So I'm not saying an indefinite no, never. But as a general rule of thumb, no hard delete permissions. They can ban users from replying to a thread, you know, somebody starts smarting off, whatever. Edit posts by anyone? Absolutely. In their assigned forums. Delete posts by anyone? Yes. There's a difference between post and a thread. You know the difference there. Hard delete? No. Give warnings on post? Absolutely. View deleted threads and posts? Sure, because they might have accidentally deleted one that they didn't mean to. That'll give them the opportunity to put it back. With that permission there, undelete threads and posts. Uh, view moderated threads and posts? Yes. Approve and unapprove? Uh-huh. Check. Uncheck. Now, this is the moderator checkpoint system. So pretty much all those is the checkpoint system, and we're going to check them all except for these bottom two. If they're a general moderator, we don't want them to be able to view somebody else's checkpoint page or view the checkpoint page of the entire forum. We just want them focused on taking care of their assigned forums. So I'm going to leave those two unchecked. I'm going to leave the hard deletes unchecked. And pretty much I'm going to give them the rest of their permissions. Okay? And let's just go ahead uh, well, we've got about two minutes left to, before we hit the 10 minute mark, so uh, resource moderator permissions, what can they do in the resources area? Okay, um, you can pretty much just leave it. Um, moderators, chances are, unless they decide to really step up, they're not going to be creating resources. Uh, personal conversation moderators, can they edit anyone's post in a conversation? I don't like them being able to do that because that can create an incorrect he said, she said type of thing um, if they're able to edit what the other person said. So I don't check that. I do let them invite other participants into the conversations. Um, on the profile post, yeah, they can do pretty much everything except hard to leave. Uh, general moderator permissions, I don't want general moderators viewing IP addresses. Uh, once they get up to a super mod, that's permission they get. Um, I don't want them to be able to bypass user privacy. So if a user has their permission set to, okay, only people that I follow can view my birth date or whatever, I don't want them to be able to bypass that privacy. Again, that's something super moderator and up. And they can use the spam cleaner. They can view any warnings. They can give users warnings directly. And again, this is in their forums. Um, they can delete warnings that are given in within their assigned forums. 
Um, I don't want them to be able to edit basic user profiles. Don't want them to be able to log in as a different user. And then there's no reason required. So all that, the rest of that's irrelevant. Um, this, we do want to display on the staff, so make sure that's checked. And the only other place they're going to be is moderating. All the permissions are set. Save moderator. And now if we go back to display node tree and we scroll down to ABC, you'll see that there is a moderator, Fallen Angel, for ABC. Okay, and again, that does include the child forums. So we're just over the 10 minute mark. Hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear step by step. And if this helps you, then, you know, I can do more of these. Uh, it's a little bit more of a one-on-one. -on -one. So it might help a little bit, but a little bit more you be, being able to see it. Uh, so just let me know um, if there's something you want to do, something you want to learn. Uh, I'll try to make the time to get a video done for you. All right, I'm out.